Hi team, welcome back to the day 3 continuation for our Jan 11th batch. So what we will do is uh, look at where we stopped last time on day 2 and then we're going to move forward from there. So starting with that Excel, here is where we started to develop our overall approach and plan. Right team? So primarily what we've done is that uh, we said that fair enough we can do a lot with IDE but how do we now run the tests with RC or WebDriver and what are these really? So once we get into it, I will be able to tell you where the IDE stops to help and why do we have that need now to do the same thing using a remote control or something called a server or something called as a web driver in Selenium. Okay, so to do that, we are continuing to go in the same fashion. So I said everything will start with ID, at least for this. Do we start with ID every time even at a project that we execute at work? No, not necessarily. We can start directly uh, using our Java code. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start off team with going to our Selenium ID. Right. So I'm going to launch up the IDE and quickly change the format to HTML. Um, now I'm going to do a control O and open the last uh, test case that we created using IDE. Looks like there are no commands here. CSL2. Let's see. There you go. So we have some commands out here. So far so good team. Day 1, day 2. This is what we did. Right. And we started to see how we could write our own X paths for every element that we need, right? Now, here are the steps, if you observe, that got generated or we could write on our, on our own in an IDE. Now, why do I need to take it into a different application like Java and so on? What is the need for it? Let me give you a quick walk down of the need using a notepad as a background. Right. The whole point team is your IDE is very limited in its capacity in the sense that with IDE you can do a basic record and a basic run. Okay. But if I need to do anything kind of frameworks where I'm trying to test the same set of uh, test case repeatedly for changing sets of data or I want to put some conditions in the sense that if this is the value do this or I want to do a lot of verifications in the sense that uh, has the test passed or failed or if I want to generate reports or if I want to repeat certain sets many number of times or I want to create something called as functions as reusable components and call them. Lots of differences where your IDE is limited. It's a very basic initial level. What does this RC do, remote control or the Selenium server? The idea there is that we have everything that happens on the application is on a browser, right? Your browser has the application within it, correct? Your IDE is able to interact with this browser on a Firefox browser directly. Okay, that is what the IDE does. You can interact with the browser directly. Now, those conditions, loops rather, I mean, trying to repeat the same steps or generate error reports and so on. As we move forward, there's so much requirements. To do that, I need to get into a programming level. Okay, programming can be done at least for Selenium as a tool using various programming languages. The 